So let's talk a little bit about this sculpture because this is something that's capturing a lot of attention. Maybe a new sculpture, but it's really there because of what you all have been doing at the LaFrac organization over the last 30 or 35 years in the Jersey City area. That's a, a place that's been kind of completely revitalized and changed over time. What, what did you see when you first went there? What's it like now, and, and why bring in the sculpture? Well, uh, it was originally a, a kind of an abandoned railroad yard that belonged to the Erie, Erie Lackawanna Railroad. And uh, over time, the uh, economic functions had moved to Port Elizabeth and Port New York, Newark. So it was basically abandoned land, some old warehouses. And uh, it was geographically in a great spot. And my late father, myself, and Mel Simon recognized the potential here. And over the last 30-plus uh, years, we've been developing these 400 acres. Today, we have uh, 6,000 apartments here, eight office buildings, two hotels, and about 2 million feet of retail space. We have 12,000 people who live here, 22,000 people who work here every day. And with the shoppers, we have as many as 50,000 people coming a day to an area that was abandoned, basically, when we came here in 1985. We have watched uh, New York over the last couple of years, and people talked about the end and decline of New York. Now uh, it seems to be coming back in a lot of different ways. We just heard from WeWork about office space and, and how there's a huge demand for that. What have you seen on the residential side in New York City and in the surrounding area? Well, the tide went out, and the tide came back, and the tide came back with a vengeance. The uh, residential market is thriving. Uh, many of the young people and the people who relocated because of the pandemic and left New York have all come back now, and apartment occupancies are approximately what they were in 2019. And rents, if anything, have gone up a little bit. So that's a good signal that New York is coming back because New York's asset is the great human capital. And if the human capital is coming back, that means New York is coming back. What do you see areas, you know, it sounds like things are coming back and coming back with a vengeance, but are there pockets of weakness th still, places that you're watching? What, what, what do you think, Richard? Well, it seems, yes, well, it, it, listen, there seems to be some concern about, you know, office occupancy uh, because, you know, it actually diminished down to virtually nothing. It's back up to about 30 percent of the normal office population. And with the vaccine mandates and with the revival of the residential market, I would expect we would be up at 50 or 60 percent by the first of the year. I think, you know, people are getting over the fear, and I think we're, you know, on a big upward swing right now. And I think New York is going to come back bigger and better and more vigorous and exciting than ever. How long do you think it'll be before office gets back to the same levels we saw before the pandemic? Or, or does it happen differently? Is, it, is this a situation where people are permanently going to be maybe part-time in the office, part-time out? Well, I think for sure, you know, flex, flex hours is uh, the, new, the new normal. Uh, I think three, four days a week in the office is what people are going to expect. But I also think that young people need the mentoring, need the uh, collaboration that the employers are going to need to bring them back. And I think they want to come back. And since uh, that's how they learn and that's how they create social lives and further their economic activities. Richard, part of the problem has been the increase we've seen in crime. Um, it, it, it's a different city than it used to be a few years ago, uh, simply from that perspective, the amount of crime on the streets, the amount of homelessness. Um, how big of a problem is that? And what, what do you think needs to be done to address that? Well, it's a big problem, but, you know, uh, Mayor, uh, the presumed mayor uh, to be uh, Eric Adams is, should be elected in the next several weeks. And one of the things he promised was to address quality of life issues in New York, obviously the num number one being public safety, but uh, also the homeless issues, issues of safety on the subway system, uh, you know, and city services, which are important to making sure that the city is a great place. So I'm very optimistic about his future, and I think he will be a great mayor.